One thing about Snug Hollow is that we're a true depiction of Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky, a lot of people drive the Kentucky roads and they look up those hills and those hollers and they think, I wonder what's up in there, you know. And we get a lot of press. We get good press, bad press, just like anywhere else. But this is the good part. This is exactly what's up those hills and hollers. A big farmhouse, usually an old log cabin, usually a horse in a field. And somebody in there making biscuits and gravy. I've always loved to cook. My mother was a cooker, and my sisters uh, have a sister that's a chef, and I have another, another sister that should be a chef. <laughs> and then I just, I love to eat. That's the main thing. So, of course, you'd love to cook, or you should. And I love to sit people down and feed them. That is just my way of showing some kind of love to other people or whatever. And believe me, they love it as well as I do. Uh, I have some other friend, uh, girls that work with me um, that cook as well, but they're my recipes and I've been a vegetarian for 32 years and we serve nothing but vegetarian, but it's not just tofu and seaweed, I mean we have real food. If you look in my cookbook we have, uh, we have lasagna and eggplant parmesan or cornbread and soup beans and chocolate tarts and coconut cakes. Homemade bread, I make bread every day. I've been here for 32 years, and no, I don't ever get tired of it, ever, ever. I'm inspired by it. This is what people need every day, an inspiration in their lives. Uh, I told you about this morning where I went over in the full moon and got those white Andalusian horses in their paddock over here. Um, and while I was doing it, I heard the barred owls screaming. And I just walked back to the house, and I'm watching the sun rise, and that is good for your soul. That's, that's just soul food and it um, inspires me every day. No, I'm not tired of this. So many people work jobs that are jobs. So many people don't protect their spirit and they throw themselves away every day. Here, when I wake up in the morning, um, I'm inspired. Everybody would love to walk through a 300 acre park right before you put the coffee on, I guess. <laughs> I get to. So. I will fly.